I was in the area that I usually don't deliver, but it kept taking me, and then I ended up in San Dimas. Hello everyone, today is Wednesday, July the 19th, 2023. Another ride along video sharing my experience trying to make extra cash delivering for Uber Eats and DoorDash. Today I'm only gonna be on Uber Eats because I couldn't really get a schedule on DoorDash. Um, sometimes like if it's busy it'll let me dash but lately during dinner hours it hasn't really like been busy enough to let me like dash now so for DoorDash it's like you kind of see a week in advance try to get yourself a schedule like Sundays and stuff some random Mondays I get like a full schedule and I always come out on the times that are after lunch it's like the slowest time and this is the slowest season for delivering but I've still been um, making a lot of videos every day I come out and sometimes it's decent sometimes I see other um, gig tubers doing ride-alongs and they make quite a lot in within three hours i think they're like in florida or something and then in my area i'm in california southern california um but i don't deliver in los angeles because it gets like really busy some stores it's like hard to park and there's a lot of apartment complexes that it's probably better if you have a bike or scooter to deliver than a car and my car is like a big suv and um yeah so but sometimes they do um kind of route me into LA and I think LA should be busy but sometimes um, viewers have commented that it's been really slow for them too even in Los Angeles like the busiest area like if you see on DoorDash it'll always say Los Angeles is like so busy it's like bright red for you to like dash okay I got an offer right now it's seven fifty two dollars for 4.7 miles I'm gonna take it actually I just did a delivery earlier I accepted something for six dollars and six dollars 36 cents and three miles and I already did that I delivered Panda Express it was to a house and then um, so he said that to leave the items in front don't knock or anything but then when I got there he called out to me and came and got the food and kind of like walk in the other direction where I see the house address but it's like he came from another house to grab the food or something like that so I'm not sure like maybe he put the wrong address by accident but let's go do this delivery and I'll update you how much I make today on the Wednesday in the summer like this which is hot yeah it's been hot and slow so let's see how much I make today Okay, so I just delivered two more orders after that when I delivered the first one and it recommended me to go to this cafe called like Cha Cafe. At first I was kind of doubting the area, like it looks quiet. I didn't know if I was going to get an order, but when I started to make the first portion of the video, then it says there was an order for like $7.36. It was like a cafe that was so cute inside the decoration and everything but there were no customers inside there's like you know how the boba shops have like area for like customers who come and sit and take pictures and the drinks the menus look pretty good but i never like knew they were there before and up until like uber eats told me to go park around there so i did that drop off all of these drop-offs are pretty much leave at the door which is 
pretty simple like I kind of like that more but sometimes for like harder to find places I kind of wish the customers would know their homes are hard to find and to come and find me even sometimes I had an an experience where like the apartment was like kind of harder to find and I told them that um, I'm not sure where your place is but still they kind of insist that I find it because they weren't gonna come out and stuff like that so so I pretty much did three orders right now so the last one the Cha Cafe $7.52 I dropped that off and then I got an, a KFC one this is one of the rare times when I drop one order off and like an order came right into the phone immediately in front of the customer's home to go to a nearby restaurant which was for KFC I like this order's number $11.11 .11 for 5.8 miles I and so I did that and now I'm way out of the, like my area where I usually deliver but I'm not on DoorDash so it's not like I have to come back to the area to get another delivery but now it's telling me to park somewhere near this wing stop and it might be busy I'm not familiar with this area at all like it's around the West Covina area and it's not within the area that I usually deliver but let's see how things goes and if I will get this wing stop order and if I do then I might just go back to the area that I'm more familiar with so at this point, okay, so I started 2 p.m. And then now it's 3.54 p.m. So maybe almost two hours. And I made around 20-ish dollars. Okay, let's see. Shall we calculate that? I haven't done the math. But it's telling me $16 already. But I'm still waiting for the tips of the last order. I think about $24 with this, this two hours of delivering. I'll still be out here until 7-ish or 8 and if you guys haven't known i'm not sure if it's the same for your starbucks but they told me that wednesdays until the 9th of august after 12 p.m 25 percent off drinks so if you guys are dashing or delivering for uber eats maybe you can grab a drink um so yeah it's a summer wind days cool off with 25 percent off i think i will take advantage of that and grab something today but I am still waiting for an order, so I'm not sure. I'll just still be here for maybe another 5 or 10 minutes and see if I'll get something. And for today's temperature, it's actually 100 degrees outside here in Southern California. And um, a lot of nice comments recently. And I'm so sorry for some long videos because sometimes I don't realize how long I've been talking because it's been so slow and then there's a lot of things in my mind that I want to like kind of like talk about so I just like put it all in in one video and I know not everyone is gonna watch the whole video so I should really break the video down in like smaller parts so today I've been driving around like 15 miles through my mileage tracker but actually when I was like in the middle like of the first delivery so I'll add like three miles into that because I was almost at the delivery point of the customer's home on the first delivery already until I turn on the mileage tracker. So 18 miles today driving, 24-ish dollars earned. Let's see how much we make by the end of today. Okay guys, so earlier when I told you I was in front of this wing stop location, it was around Covina in California, like West Covina, Covina. So I was gonna drive out to come to the area that I was more familiar with. So somebody like came to their car and they were just like looking at me because my windows are open and then they can pretty much hear me talk. Because this camera is like kind of small. It's <laughs> so they probably think I'm like talking to myself. Okay, so like when I was gonna drive out, this happened to me a couple times when I was in front of like some restaurant and I was waiting for a bit and then I thought okay there's none so let me just go drive out to an area that I think I'll get an order every time I drive out 
then an order comes in for Wingstop. So it was like a $4 offer, I think. Right now it's like 7.19. I started at 2 p.m., so five hours in. I'll just go through every order I just did right now for this couple of hours since the last time we spoke. So I did take that Wingstop order and it was a $4.23 for 2.3 miles. And it was one of the apartment where they give you a gate code and then you bring your car in and there's like all these different buildings with each of its own different numbers. And then sometimes that makes me mad when I'm like, you know, it's a slow day. It's just like a $5 two miles or a $4 two miles. Like, let me just take it. It's better than like sitting around. And then it's like some like hard to find like room or apartment complex. And then, but um, I was able to find it. So I, fortunately, yeah, that was quick. And then every time I go into those buildings, I keep being paranoid that I can't take my car out because I thought you need a code to come out or a remote or something. But so after that, it, I was in the area that I usually don't deliver, but it kept taking me. And then I ended up in San Dimas. So I was like at this new area I've never delivered before, but I guess they were business there. Like there were orders after orders after I delivered the wing stop. Then I had an order from Capri Deli. I think it's like a meat loaf uh, sandwich place. It was an offer for $7.83, 3.3 miles. Another just leave at the door delivery. So I went ahead and I dropped that off and the store was interesting. I've never seen that store before. All these like random stores. The next one I got right away after that drop off was at a Crepes and Shakes LA. It's called Crepes and Shakes LA, but it was in like Covina area. It kept saying like that I was there, but I didn't know like where it was because you know in the maps when you kind of pass it a little bit and then it tells you to like go around, then you realize that it probably means it's like it was just there somewhere, but you passed it. So I there was this building, it was like a public market or something, and then I just assume it's probably here, so I parked in. When I went in, it was kind of like, you know, when you go in and you it, it's like a wide, like open place with all these like crepes and food place. Like it was a nice looking place in there. I've never been there before, but this young gentleman made the drinks and then I think the person ordered crepes and then it was like this mango, uh, chili mango smoothie drink or something. I didn't have a chance to take a picture or film it because this delivery was a, a pin order. So when I arrive, the customer gives me a pin and then that just proves that I delivered it and the customer got it because if they say they didn't, it would be weird because I entered their pin basically. But it was another kind of place where in the front, it doesn't have the address, but you have to like you know one of those houses where the front of the house is like a different number but theirs is like a back house or a back area but it wasn't really a house it was like they're on the second story and even though i texted them like i'm here already i've arrived they didn't really like come out of their uh, building where i was just like walking around until a neighbor was like are you looking for something and i'm like i told the address and they were like oh maybe it's like the other side whatever and the lady came out and he asked the lady for me like oh are you like this unit number and then she just came down finally and so that was done and yeah that area is maybe there's a reason for sometimes when they take you out to another area or maybe it's coincidence because you know like there's no ch choice because a customer lives in that area so you uh happen to get more orders in that area or something because i have been here back in my area and the only thing i got was a denny's and that's it. The area that used to be pinging all the time is now so quiet. Yesterday, I think I'm going to edit that today and it'll be posted by now. If you see this video, it's probably posted. It's like the video before this. One of the slowest days for me and somebody else took my order. The only thing I've been getting around here is Dave's Chicken, California Fish, Fish Grill. But today, the whole day, I didn't get any order from one of the most busiest places that gets orders. 
I think I went to oh yeah and I went to Wingstop earlier let me get to that so yeah I'm pretty sure that's it I got a Wingstop around here and not even Chipotle because I just routed back here and oh and I finally took advantage of that 25% off Starbucks thing I just got a grande matcha ice matcha latte um, so uh, after I dropped the Capri Deli and the shakes off I finally came to yeah Denny's so back in my area dropped off Denny's it was a five dollars nine cents offer for just 1.7 miles so I just did that and then I got a wing stop offer for $12.15 only 2.1 miles and I did that so it's been about five hours and I made around $64 so um it was better than yesterday for sure yesterday was like dead for me Uber Eats was dead I can't I couldn't hop on DoorDash and then I did decline one like where I was gonna drop the the last order at Wingstop an Asai joint place um, order came in six dollars fifty eight cents for six miles I don't want to do that every time like before like when I started this you know back in 2019 and I did a little bit in 2020 I didn't even know anything about the mileage so I do watch like some other gig tubers and did learn a lot and just realized like oh, okay so like if the offer is like this amount then the miles got to be a little less than that I think when I started I did a lot of stupid ones and that's why I felt like I was using a lot of gas I still feel like I do have to pump a lot but you know in terms of like gas and the profit I do see profit where the money does circulate where I can pay off things so if people were to ask me like oh is it worth it like um, I think the first video when I did um, kind of like express my feelings about doing this um, it's always better than zero and it depends on your circumstance like if you already have like a w-2 job and then it pays for everything and you got a lot that is extra for you you know wouldn't you rather take the time to like just relax and take your time off work but if you do need extra cash coming in because it's not enough and this is something that would bring the extra money in this is the thing but if you're gonna compare it to it really depends like I want to test Beverly Hills the only time I went to Beverly Hills was when I was younger and I went to trick-or-treat there and a big house I only got one snicker so I'm not sure if the richer areas do tip more but I think naturally in the rich area they are supposed to tip more um, many people have asked me what area like what city am I in I'm near Los Angeles but I don't really pick up but I sometimes drop off in Los Angeles I have picked up some orders when it's like I dropped off and it's like one along the way before I go back to the area I'm familiar with but I'm just in the smaller like basic areas around there that's not very like the richer areas I think some of the viewers mentioned um, that they deliver in Orange County Orange County seems like a good area and I want to test that market as well I think it's really nice to like if you're doing this maybe tr test the market but for me like if I need to drive out like 40 minutes and stuff and I'm not like because my, what I'm worried about is when I'm familiar with an area I know like where is the spot to like park and it's like closer to my home and I know how to like route back like just now I went to San Dimas and then it was like and it was like I needed to drive back around 30 minutes but I had to anyway because I was doing a lot of orders around that area and it because it kept coming and I think that kept me going and I like that like when you drop one off a new one comes right away I think today was more like that they were gonna have me go to a side after I dropped that other order it would have like continuously got me like going and dropping things off and that would be nice if that was like three miles or four miles I would do it but it was like six dollars for six miles like you know um, many people um, I'm not sure but I think a lot of people would decline that but if um you know I I'm not sure like am I like being picky I don't I don't think 
it's the best one where it's like the miles is equivalent to the offer so it's always good to take an offer that is more than the miles to be driven so it seems very busy right now in my area but no orders yet so let's see if i do get one more before 8 p.m because that's when i usually end the shift and um i, I talk like there's a shift like i'm on uh, i work for uber eats like an actual employee but it's still very independent contractor but you there's like if you do sign up you can f find that there's a lot of things that they offer like healthcare stipends i'm not sure like i think there's like a certain like for doordash it says like you have to be like averaging 25 hours i'm not sure if that's like a week or a month i'm so sorry i need to like uh research this some more but there's a criteria and then if you have already signed up you should be able to find all that information and everything but yeah for a lot of people who has like you know full-time job already they should already have their um health insurance from their work and this is just like a little extra little something but as i have said on my very first video that's like all my um kind of like thoughts on this and um like i said like it's better than zero dollars better than no money like you know if we're talking about like scared of like the maintenance cost the the mileage the gas it's like if you want the cash like you'll have to you know it's kind, it's kind of like investing like because if you don't use gas or your car then you can't bring in more income i guess but for example if you did feel like you lost of time you're stressed out and the gas and everything the cost is equal to or negative if you're at negative you shouldn't do that but if you're at positive and you i mean if you're like profiting at a prof like a positive number um i have had comments and it's a good one like everyone finds out like what works for them so eventually you know if somebody feels like this is not working out for them then it doesn't but it all depends on the day i think that sunday is the best day for me um i've seen a lot of people do better like in three hours they're making like hundreds of dollars already like i said for today it's just like a wednesday it's july 19 2023 and i made 64 dollars um but much better than my tuesdays and this is just uber eats and sometimes if i'm able to do both like doordash and uber eats i would like leave them on both and then if i get something for the other i would pause the other something like that but today i can't go on doordash at all and like yesterday's video i shared my story how i accidentally deleted my schedule with doordash so i was just on uber eats and it was like dead it was like really dead and one of my order where i got like a nine dollar two mile offer to pick up California Fish Grill, when I went, the staff was like, okay, I don't, we don't know who took it. Like you have to call support, somebody else took it. I am so confused. Like I still don't understand how that type of order happens. Like do they shoot out a lot of orders and then more than one people picks it up depends on who comes and grab the food first, which I think it shouldn't be like that, but there has to be some kind of glitch and I'm still not sure how that happens. Let me know if you know. Okay, so if I don't update you, if I have another one, that means that will be all today, $64, five hours in. I'll come back and update you if I do get any other offers. Okay guys, so I am done for the day. It's already eight right now, and I wasn't able to get any order on Uber Eats at all, but then I was able to get on this like dash now because it was a little busier on doordash so my last delivery was at doordash the first offer came up was like nine dollars i'm like great i'll just i want to do that and then i want to like end the, the day but i saw the miles was nine miles but um it was four dollars 75 cents 3.3 miles i just did that and then so that made my earning today come up to $68.85 in a six hour day delivering. Let me know what you think about that, if that's worth it or not. I am in the smaller city area around LA. I don't deliver in the like bigger 
pay area but I was out in the Covina area for a bit but the, my thing there about going and staying around there is I don't have a main spot where I know where to park. So if there were no orders, I was just going to be like kind of lost. And so I routed back to where I'm familiar with. And when I came back, I only got like a Denny's and a Wingstop. Then it was like quiet up until I got like something on DoorDash. And that's how it is today on this weekday in the middle of the week during a summer slowdown like this for the gig apps so share your experiences under the comments how it's going for you if you're delivering and if you like this video please like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video guys thanks so much for subscribing for commenting for liking the video for all the great comments for all like the motivational comments some videos where i was like stressed out and said a lot of things that um some of you say um to just like be more positive so um, in any circumstances that you're in, just, um, just like know there are good days, better days ahead and doing this, it's not like good every day and it's not bad every day. So keep your heads up and um, we'll make it through this together. See you guys in the next video.